in this video i'm going to show you how i made this interaction opening box animation inside unreal engine also i'm going to provide all of this animation so you can learn along with me i'm going to import this lead animation opening lead animation input all Now I'm going to retarget this animation. Oops, not replace. Retarget this animation into my static mesh. Export animation. Now I'm going to import this box. Input animation. Now I have to import this base model. But also, I'm going to import this texture. That this to emissive color, this is going to be metallic. Be an occlusion normal. This is the base color. And this is going to be roughness. Now select this node and set this to two side. Apply. Save all. Now I'm going to create a new folder for mesh and drag all of this inside this folder. Let's create a blueprint class actor. This is going to be our box. I'm going to drag this base model and then this static mesh. Okay. In the static mesh, I'm going to select this animation. Now in blueprint this is our third person character i'm going to duplicate this one and rename this to dummy open this dummy and remove all of this node also this camera now select this escalator mesh and use animation asset and select our opening lead animation i think i have to do only this one okay now in box I'm going to input this dummy I have to position this one I think I have to modify this animation a little bit maybe
Okay. In dummy, select this capsule component and set this to 10. Now I'm going to place this actor inside this level. Now I'm going to create a user interface widget blueprint. This is going to be our open box widget. I'm going to set this to custom and custom this is going to be uh, 200 by 80 maybe add a canvas panel and I'm going to get a text inside this canvas panel press okay i think i'm going to increase this spacing 150 an outline i'll set this to one In this box, I'm going to create a widget. And set our open box widget. And we have to get this value and paste it here. 200 by 40 maybe yeah set this to the screen Okay, now I'm going to remove this one for now and then I'm going to add a box collision. Rename this to widget OV. Lup. Uh, select this widget and search for hidden. Set this to hidden in game. And now I'm going to select this box and then on being overlap. Also end overlap. We'll have to cast third person character get this widget set hidden in game and i'm going to unhide this and on end overlap i'm going to hide this again 
let's check it's working yes e2 okay now also i have to do i have to enable input for this box on component being overlap i'm going to do enable input and target is going to be self and player controller we have to get player controller and then disable input and target will be player controller i mean <laughs> player controller said so this player controller target will be self this box now i'm going to add a input set this to e then string now if i press e nothing will be happen if we go inside this area and now press e here you can see we have an input hello now we cannot do it anymore now i'm going to do I'm going to add another box collision. This is going to be is near box. No, to set this. Uh, Also, search for hidden in game. Set this to unhide. Then, get on being overlap. Also, I'm going to get end overlap. to do pipe think okay in that person character i'm going to add a custom event AI move to location then I have to call an event call simple move to location and controller will be our get player controller now I'm going to get this location from this custom event now I'm going to call this custom event on this box okay to do one thing overlap I'm going to promote this to a variable I'm going to use this variable and then call for move to location and goal will be this location this is nearby box location this box get world location okay to work with this ai 
we have to add nav mesh volume search for nav mesh bounce volume and press p on keyboard now here you can see we have a nav mesh volume here so our ai can walk through this nav mesh let's check now yeah it's working now if i press e our ai will automatically go this location To modify something select this stop box and this is going to be no collision set uh, get this uh, I mean select this box and set this also no collision I'm going to add a okay, let's check now okay now i'm going to add another blocking volume it a box this is going to be block all i'm going to use this box to block mesh Mm. Let this block all. Oh, also select this capsule component and search for hit and hide this for now. In this box, I'm going to do going to add some spacer. Then select this is nearby box. This is the box, and let's create a variable. Mm is near the by box and I'm going to get this third person character on overlap I'm going to set this to true and on end overlap I'm going to set this to leave it as a false 
then get this near box create a branch okay set this to false on true is our character nearby this box then i'm going to add another custom event move to location this is going to be our component component move to location now let's call this event now we have to get this capsule component and then move to component get this target location and rotation select this dummy and i'm going to get this world transform oops get wall transfer split this pin this is going to be location and rotation okay i think i'm going to set this to overlap time one second Oops. It's too much, maybe point six. He said this too easy out. Now in box, I'm going to add another variable. This is going to be on press e key i'm going to set this to on press i'm going to set this to true and get this press e okay and add a branch is it false then we can do this section so we can do this input action one time now i have to do on this component being overlapped this component being overlap i'm going to get this press e create a branch is it true then i'm going to trigger this event mm, set this to on ai move to box okay i'm going to break this link then that this here let's check now 
ओके Yes, this is working. Now, let me show you. Now, if I press E on my keyboard, then this box trace will trace if we are on this box, this one, if you are inside this box, where it is. If we are inside this box, this is is nearby box. Is nearby box is our character nearby box. Then we are going to trigger on true. We are going to trigger component move to on false. I'm going to set this to AI move to. Then our AI will move this box. After that. I'm going to trigger this component move to location. And now on AI move to in this section, I'm going to get this static mesh and then set okay not this one now for animation i'm going to open blueprint and then i think i have to do i'm going to search b not this one the by integer this one and i'm going to do i'm going to create a new state machine this is going to be box open box open a state machine set this to one now i'm going to get this walking animation and then get this open animation i mean open lead animation and variable variable set this to um, promote this to a variable op open box animation okay that is 2.3 maybe and set this blink time to 0.2 from this two variable and rename this to Blend this is by integer in third person character. Go to even graph, then I'm going to get this static mesh, get any instant. I'm going to cast my animation blueprint character and then I'm going to get this blend pose by integer set b blend pose by integer set this to 1 Okay.
now we have to call play what is that name of okay box opening animation i'm going to call this one and set this to true okay uh, select this box and remove this animation opponent move to location i'm going to do skip this over time this to one second maybe let's check what okay promote this to a variable this is going to be our overlap time and this to 0.6 I'm going to get this overlap time add a delay note after that after end of this overlap I'm going to get this top skeleton mesh and lay animation now we have to set our box of an animation. Now I think. I'm going to get this also set it here. Now it has to be work. Okay. To add this note before okay, set this to loop. I think I'm going to increase this overlap time to one second. Okay. Now, in third person character, I'm going to create a new variable. Can move create a branch. I'm going to close them into a macro. 
can move is it true then we can move now i'm going to get this can move node macro and then let's share Okay, now in blueprint, blueprint, I'm going to create a new folder for any notify, create a new blueprint class, not blueprint, blueprint, blueprint class, search for any notify state on In box notify begin. I'm going to do I get owner then cast to third person character. Now I'm going to set can move. Set this to false. Now, in this opening animation, I'm going to add this open box. Let's check. Okay, in third person character, set this to true by default. Now, we cannot jump and we cannot move. And at the end of this animation, I'm going to do copy this note and set this to okay i'm going to get mesh then get any instant then i'm going to set on this animation blueprint i'm going to get this blend integer this one set this to zero okay Okay, we have to copy this one and paste this note here also.
on AI move to, I'm going to get this character and then set max walk speed. Set this to 300. get movement character that max walk speed set this to 150 In anime graph, I'm going to set this to 3.3 Now on box I'm going to 2 Remove this knot and then it's nearby. Okay. I'm going to hide this widget. On press A, I'm going to hide this widget. Also, get this box and that overlap generate overlap event event set this to false Now I'm going to get this box and then set generate develop event, set this to false. Now we can open this box once at a time. I'm going to select this box and search for hidden. Set this to hide again. Also for this capsule component. Set this to hide again.
okay at the end on notify end i have to do i'm going to get this open box animation and then set this to false I think um, box I'm going to set this Overlap time, maybe one five. Oops. <laughs> 